Hello, collectors! It's Steven here once again with another action figure news video for you, and this time we're going to be talking about the new Pacific Rim Uprising action figures on the show floor of San Diego Comic-Con from Bandai Tamashi Nations. Ooh, ah. So a quick note real quick, there's some construction going on in my neighborhood and I can't get it to stop, so if that does happen to pick up on the microphone, I can't tell right away. I am sorry for that. But anyway, here's what we're going to be talking about. So, a solo Chogokin figure was finally solicited, and we got some information for that. We have three Robot Spirits figures, which were finally solicited, and we got some nice information on that, along with some really surprising news, and we got a couple of other prototypes, which were revealed. So... I'm going to go over those in as much detail as we have, and I'm going to propose some questions which I really think we need to ponder right now because we don't have too much information and none of us have actually handled the figures. Of note, the four figures I'm going to be talking about are all available for pre-order right now on Amazon, links will be in the description, and they all have a release date which is very convenient of February 23rd, 2018, which in case you didn't know, is right on time for the release of Pacific Rim uprising. So let's dive in and let's talk about the first one, the soul of Chogokin Gypsy Danger. So Gypsy Danger here is a soul of Chogokin, which means that it is a high end figure. It's more so a display piece than it is an action figure, but it has plenty of articulation. So if you want something to go along with, let's say the Kokyokyok, Godzilla 1989, this might be a good companion piece, or if you have some of the X Plus Pacific Rim stuff, this might actually work with them too. I don't know, I don't have them, and obviously nobody has the Soul of Chogokin Gypsy Danger yet, so we can't put them side by side, so I'm just guessing on that one. But anyway, the Soul of Chogokin Gypsy Danger comes in at an MSRP of $250. It's actually $249.99, but we're going to round up for this video, okay? Okay, so the Soul Chogokin stuff typically comes in about 8 to 10 inches tall, and they're made of die cast parts. Not entirely, but only in some key areas, so this way we have stability and to keep the joints tight, at least for as long as possible. So Gypsy Danger will have all of those features. Now, at the show floor of San Diego Comic-Con, we were shown a couple of accessories to go with Gypsy Danger, and they're actually a part of the promotional pictures. Not all of them, however. There's one key one missing, and I don't know why it wasn't a part of the three pictures we got for Amazon's listing. So for accessories, Gypsy comes with two sets of chain swords. One set is the Deployed Chain Sword set. This is sort of when it first popped out of Gypsy's arm when it was getting ready to slice through Otachi. And the other set is when it's all linked together. And this is actually a part of the promotional pictures, as you can see here. Gypsy has the swords crossed over. Gypsy also comes with two plasma casters, which is awesome. So this way, Gypsy can, you know, do a double barrel type thing. And Gypsy also comes with some extra hands. And as you can see in that picture right in front of you, it's doing the infamous punch into its hand. And that happened a couple times in the movie when Gypsy was getting ready to get deployed, I believe, at least if I remember it correctly. It's been a while since I've seen Pacific Rim. But Gypsy actually comes with three sets of hands in total one set of fists, and two sets of splayed hands. Not shown in the pictures is the boat sword. Don't know why they didn't show that. That's kind of iconic, but yeah. So I'm imagining that one of the sets of splayed hands is used, so this way Gypsy can grab onto the boat sword, because you can't have a Gypsy action figure in any capacity if it can't hold the boat sword. So once again, Gypsy comes in at $250. It's a little bit pricier on Amazon, but not by a significant amount. I'm talking like $50. But if you want to pre-order it, there is a link in the description, so this way you can get your order in. All right, so that's it for the Soul of Chogokin stuff. Now we're going to be talking about the actual Pacific Rim Uprising stuff. Gypsy, I guess, appears in a flashback in Uprising, but now we're going to get into the new Jaegers. So, first up, we have the successor to Gypsy Danger. We have Gypsy Avenger. On the show floor, the placard for Gypsy Avenger has the price at $20, but Amazon has it listed for $24. Again, just a little bit more, but you get the free shipping, and depending on where you order this at, you might actually have to pay for shipping, so it comes out to about even. Maybe you can justify it that way. And something about Amazon is you get all the points, and there are a whole bunch of opportunities for free gift cards, so, eh, you know, some people just prefer Amazon for ease of access. But that's not the point of this video. 
So Gypsy Avenger here from the promotional pictures, as you can see, it kind of looks dull. There's not a whole lot of details, but the prototype displayed at San Diego Comic-Con, as we'll take a look at a little bit later, has a significant amount more detail there. I mean, it's night and day different. So why that's not used for the promotional pictures, we'll never know. I think it was just taken in a rush, so this way they can have stuff ready to go, but who knows. But anyway... Gypsy does look very nice, and again, it's $20. So on the Amazon listing here, it's listed as a highly articulated figure for dynamic posing. And it comes with accessories. So it has listed as two types of weapons and optional forearms. Optional hands, a chain sword, and gravity sling are included, making this a quote, must-have figure for fans. We only get these very simple promotional pictures, and we don't have any pictures of the accessories. So maybe we'll see them once official solicitations go out to the Japanese retailers and they release more pictures, or maybe when we get a few trailers come out, but who knows. But keep in mind, we get an approximately $20 action figure, which has enough detailing, articulation, and accessories to what seems to be a robot spirit standard for $20. That is amazing. Next up, we have a confirmed for release Titan Redeemer, which again, these are all releasing according to Amazon on February 23rd. Titan Redeemer, Amazon's price is $33 and we get the free shipping. So Titan Redeemer, this is a pretty interesting design. Unfortunately, however, this doesn't look too on model to the promotional image that Legendary sent out. That has a whole bunch of Jaegers shown together. The head is very off model. Maybe this is a conceptual issue that they did with Godzilla 2014 in the SH Monster Arts line. But hey, for about $33, this is very cool if it lives up to the robot spirit standards. And it does come with accessories too. So Titan Redeemer, it comes with a mini scrapper robot figure. Don't know what that is, but cool includes an optional open hand part. So that is pretty neat. Who knows what Scrapper is? Maybe it's a mini figure that's like three inches tall. And that's another thing we're going to address in a little bit, height. So Titan Redeemer, $33. There's a link in the description if you want to pre-order Titan Redeemer. Last up for available figures to pre-order, we have Bracer phoenix very cool it looks like a boxer you know we got a nice blocky design very stocky i don't want to come up against this guy in a fight uh it looks like he's gonna knock me out in one punch and i'm a big guy myself so if i say i don't want to mess with this dude i, I ain't gonna want to mess with it but anyway again we have a 33 dollars price tag on amazon remember amazon here they've been consistently marking bluefin items up or at least items brought over by Bluefin, so take that as you will. So we have Bracer Phoenix here. For the promotional stuff that they have, it says remove the chest and back armor and swap parts to recreate the dramatic gun mode. What? No pictures of this, obviously, because we only have a couple, but um, 33 bucks, folks, and we have a transformation gimmick here. Not like full-blown transformer gimmick, but... Gun mode includes optional hands, chest gun parts, back gun parts, and a stand for about 30 bucks. Hmm, something just doesn't seem right here, folks. Something just absolutely doesn't seem right. And here's why I'm saying this doesn't seem right. If you're looking at these pictures here, and this is something that we all thought, at least in the super articulated kaiju collector group, we thought that they were cutting corners on the actual paint applications and the fine details, and that's how they were able to bring the price down. But on the show floor, they have the prototypes available. And as you can see here, we got a total of five figures revealed. It looks like to the left, we have a high grade model of Gypsy Avenger. So you can completely disregard that unless you like models. If you do, then congrats. You've already probably seen this, but it's just the Gypsy Avenger model. Once again, we have much more detailed prototypes available on the show floor and pictures. These pictures are actually not promotional pictures. These pictures are courtesy of Instamashi, the Instagram account for Tamashi Nation. So credit to them for this. But anyway, we have Gypsy Avenger shown. We have Bracer Phoenix and we have Titan Redeemer on the show floor, but we also have Saber Athena and we have Guardian Bravo. 
So if you take a closer look at these figures, we have a significant amount of more detail. We have some numbers located on Gypsy Avenger. We have some miscellaneous lines and whatnot on some of the other Jaegers. I don't get what's going on here, folks. These are all less than $35, okay? They're all less than that. Yet for some reason, these are billed at approximately six inches tall, according to Big Bad Toy Store. Gypsy Avenger is listed at 6.7 inches tall. So they come with all of these accessories. They're roughly six inches tall. You can even tell by the Stage Act 4 stuff, the Tamashi Stage Act 4 stands that they have there. These are not super small figures. So a concern that I have is how are these living up to typical robot spirit standards, normal Tamashi Nation standards? How are these figures looking so awesome, but they're so cheap? How is that possible? Did the Pacific Rim license sort of bottom out in price and now they were able to pick it up for dirt cheap? Diamond Select is in the game too. Diamond Select Toys. Maybe because there's competition, they were able to spread the license so thin because they were able to get more money and maybe Tamashi Nations is passing this on to the consumer. Finally, they're actually cutting us a deal. Who knows? I mean, this is very cool. Obviously, we see them in kind of generic poses here. Maybe they're not the best in terms of articulation. Uh, not me. I don't know. I'm not fiddling with them. We're not going to get a chance to play around with them for a while. Something is lacking here, and I don't know what it is. An idea that I have is maybe because Bluefin actually fulfills Toys R Us's orders. Yeah, you can find Bluefin stuff at Toys R Us. I'm thinking maybe they're trying to work their way into Toys R Us. And at a lower price point, that is something they would be able to do. Because NECA is now out of the game. Okay, with NECA out of the game, even though Diamond Select Toys is now in the game, Tamashi Nations can now get on store shelves. They can now get into the collections of NECA fans, and this can sort of be a gateway, if you will, into the other properties that Tamashi Nations has. So if you have a NECA collector who bought the Pacific Rim stuff and the Batman stuff that NECA has, right, then they can go to the SH Figure Arts Injustice stuff. Do you see what I mean? So maybe that's what they're doing, and maybe they're just taking a small hit financially, and maybe they're breaking even on the Pacific Rim stuff. I don't know. I'm just brainstorming here. But here's something else that I'm sort of questioning, and this is something that's minor. Maybe this is something that they're holding back for a full reveal on, on Legendary Zen. Who knows? This is a minor nitpick. No kaiju revealed at all. We don't have anything. We have no sense of what some of the designs may look like. And we have five of the... I don't even know how many Jaegers were revealed in that teaser image. So that's kind of weird. I don't know. Again, maybe they're just waiting until something happens and we're going to see an SH monster arts or two later because it's very weird on the front end to just push nothing but Jaegers. Who knows? Maybe we'll see something later. Maybe we'll see a knife head 2.0. I mean the design from, you know, the movie, not an actual like knife head 2.0 figure. Like they're redesigning knife. Head. You know what I mean? Like gypsy Avenger being gypsy danger 2.0. But anyway, so that's what we got. To recap, we have the Gypsy Danger Solar Chogokin revealed for $250. We have Gypsy Avenger Robot Spirits for $20. And we have Titan Redeemer and Bracer Phoenix for about $30. All have accessories, all have articulation, and all are detailed out the wazoo. We as collectors can do absolutely nothing but win. So thank you very much for watching. Leave your comments down below. Leave your ideas. I want to hear what you think. Are you happy about this? Are you upset? Do you have the same fears or ideas that I have? Let me know what you think. And take care of this summer, guys. It's pretty hot outside, and I want you to stay nice and cool. Okay? Okay. I'll catch you all in the next video.